Hello, we're here today with uh, Venus Styles. Venus, welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I, I want to tell you I appreciate you taking that time of your day, coming by to spend some time, uh, you know, with me today to sort of talk about some things that are very important to you. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. And you know, I remember uh, back in the days, you growing up in Burlington on Speedway Circle, and your dad and your sisters, and boy, they used to talk about those right girls. Oh, those right girls. You remember? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it's just, uh, it, it's great uh, uh, having you here today. Um, and uh, I have you here today to talk a little bit about, you know, your life, a little bit about some of the things that I think some of the qualities that you have. And in relation to the book that I've got out, I sort of wanted to bring people here that I felt had some characteristics of some of the things that I was writing about. Okay. And, um, and so we're gonna get into that a little bit, but uh, I also wanna, wanna say that uh, your husband, Andre Styles, uh, a phenomenal athlete mm -hmm. over Rule High School, uh, alias Tater Bug. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, just want to give him a shout. He's he's a, he's a good friend, uh, a nice guy, and uh, you guys are a great couple. Thank you. And uh, uh, just 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 really appreciate you taking time out today. So, um, let's begin just by talking a little bit about uh, uh, when I think about Venus Styles, I think about a person that uh, is very, you know, she's, she wants to encourage people uh, to be positive, mm -hmm. and she really is in a lot of, you know, she wants people to try to take care of themselves, you know, be in you know, good health. Um, so uh, I, I want to ask you a question um, in relation to some of these interests. Um, why do you think uh, it's important for a person uh, to surround themselves with positive stuff? I think that you you have to stay positive because the way life is now, I mean, you got different things coming at you and you just really have to stay focused on what it is that you want. We've got so much, well, we've got so many distractions. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you know, it's, I don't see. Uh, the is you see what I mean? Okay, you know what? I'm going to uh, decline this call. Oh, thank you. Yeah. There we go, distractions. Yeah. But one of the things too, we've got we've got all this different media. We've got you know things that we didn't have back in the day, cell phones. Mm -hmm. I mean, really? But now you think, how could you live without it? Yeah. So you know, I'm at work sometimes, and you got text and you got email and you got the telephone ringing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to stay focused on what you really need to stay focused on mm -hmm. and, and what while and you're exactly right uh, i read an article today on facebook and it said that facebook uh, knows how to socially include people but they still allow people to be emotionally disconnected exactly I mean, you know they could they, they could reach out and they in tune with people but they're not you know they don't cross that thing and uh, that barrier of getting a little deeper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and I think that's important, what you said. It's, it's, it's really important. You've got so many things pulling at you. And uh, how does, uh, you know, you're an avid reader. Yes. I, right? Okay. Oh, yes. How many books do you read a week? Oh, uh, well, month? you know what? Mm -hmm. I read everything I can get my hands on. If I'm in a doctor's office, I can read two magazines before mm -hmm. they even call. You wow. know, they got a wait time. <laughs> you know, and I just read everything. I just don't like to have any idle time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so far I've read 11 books. Wow. Um, this year, because I always set a goal. Wow. And I like to read really, really positive things. Mm. And I read more uh, nonfiction mm -hmm. than I do fiction at all, because I just like to stay in tune, and I'm always looking for something to be better. Okay. That, that's, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Um, uh, the mind, uh, what's that old saying? Uh, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Exactly. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm really excited about reading your book. I can't wait to read it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate okay. that. Okay. Autograph copy. Autograph. <laughs> hey, you got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, let, let's talk a little bit about, about, about health. Why is it important? Because you mentioned, and as I see sometimes on, on, on Facebook, sometimes I go there and I've and, and I've heard some people say that you offer some classes used to on exercise. Why is the health uh, important to you and maintain a good sense of health? I think that as you get older, especially as you get older, 
you want to feel better. People live longer, so it's really about the quality of your life. Mm. So, you know, people say, where are you going? Well, I've got a lot of people that say, well, you're going to die anyway. You're going to die for something. Mm -hmm. But basically, it's the quality of life while you're living that counts. We're all going to die. Yeah. But the bottom line is we want to we want to live well. Mm -hmm. I, my father is 81 years old, and he gets up every morning, Monday through Thursday, and he walks about five to eight miles with his friends. 81 and walks five to eight miles. Exactly. And wow. I mean, back in the day, he was like a um, tennis champion. Wow. And so the bottom line is that's kind of being like a role model for me mm -hmm. because he can get up and down the steps with the quickness, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. He always walking with a little swag. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is, I want to be like that when I'm 81. I hear you. <laughs> That's a great goal. Yeah. Like it's a great goal, Miss Mr. Wright. I we seen him the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, man, he had a pep in his step. He did. He, he came yeah. in bouncing. He did. Then he, he did. He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> articulate, and he was ready to move. Yes. So yeah, you, you're exactly right. Um, <clears throat> so I, I want to give w one last question to you, um, and it's sort of piggybacks on what you just said, how your dad passed these qualities down to you about health and having a quality of life. Mm -hmm. Is anything you could say to our readers and also some of our viewers today about the importance of uh, leaving things for other people, heritages or, or good quality things to think about and, and good environments to keep their mind in. What, what, why is that important to encourage people to do some things for other people to keep them motivated? Well, it's kind of like playing it forward. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one way that you can always be remembered. Because mm -hmm. people going, sometimes they might forget what you said, mm -hmm. but they're going to always remember what you did and how you made them feel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the positive things that I put on social media mm -hmm. is really for me mm -hmm. to keep my soul fed mm -hmm. and to keep um, my spirits high mm -hmm. so that I can encourage other people. Wow. See, guys, why we had Venus Styles in here today? I know she is totally, uh, she's been herself and she's mm -hmm. motivated. She told you exactly the way she feels, and this is awesome. This is what this is all about. Um, the book, Distractions, is coming out soon in your city. You better hurry up and get your copy. Saturate yourself, entrench your mind with things that motivate you, keep you motivated, keep you maintain a good quality of uh, life and pass things down to other people. I'd say that's very important, don't you, Venus? I think it's extremely important. Well, thank you, Venus, for coming by today. You're